Yeah. Street Fame Magazine, we out here doing it again. Out here in Orlando, you know what I'm saying? By way of Duval, by way of Tampa, we out here, man, represent. Go ahead and let them know what it is, man. What's up, what's your boy, Bass G, man? Now we do it. Our right, weekend, we in this bitch. We finna turn this bitch up. Make a move the whole weekend. Yeah, and if so, anybody, uh, oh, go ahead, boss. So look, we just had a little party. We have in Orlando right now. We bring art from birthday bash. Okay. Got the gang in the building too, man. <laughs> know what it is. Now we do it. Okay, well, uh, first thing, man, how long you doing music, bro? Uh, since 14. Since 14? Yeah. And you was out there in Duval? Yeah. How, how much love they showed you out there, man? Got a lot of love. Know what it is. So yeah. now you're in a whole nother city, a whole nother market, man. What that's been like? It's like, well, we built our market out of town before we built it inside. Know what it is. Yeah, like, we always went from, like, city to city, like, Turning up in strip clubs and shit. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Y'all yeah. so, made, made a mark everywhere y'all went. Right, right. So, like, a lot of girls out of Orlando market and Tampa market and Miami market just start fucking with us. All right. And so, with that being said, what song was you, like, was pushing at the time? Uh, it was a script. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you this. I, I had, like, just came home, bro, at 16, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dog, he my engineer, too. So, he he had, like, this little script club song. Mm -hmm. Um he had a strip club song, and um, he was telling me, he was like, man, you need to do this. Mm -hmm. He was like, bro, you do this song, and you throw money in every strip club you're going, yeah. you gonna, you might not blow from it, but you're going to get a buzz. They're they going to start paying attention. Right, but the shit wasn't the shit, like the song wasn't the shit that I was genre. Like, we were talking trap, street shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> shit like that. But he wanted us to do like a booty club. So matter of fact, the name of the song is called a booty club. Booty club. <laughs> but the hook was dope, yeah. and like, I just had to tell, on the song, just talk about what I do when I go in the booty club, how we pulling up, how much money we throwing, what we ride, jersey we wearing, mm -hmm. clothes we wearing. So, and the girls was fucking with it. So it kind of like popped in like certain little strip clubs and they just gotcha. fuck with them from that. So, what you know what I'm saying? Is, so that, like, that was one of the records that we dropped. Uh, we had Collins, you know what I'm saying? That was a record that was pretty good too. But, so basically you had to tap into a market that was different than what you was used to doing. Right, but the only different was like, we still was able to add our sauce to it. We were still able to talk how we pull up yeah, yeah, in a yeah. strip club. It wasn't just like commercial, commercial, commercial. <laughs> but you. we was talking like what a nigga, average nigga do when he got some money in the strip club. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, the music done changed a lot too, man, from, from then to now. So, I mean, how yeah. do you stay relevant with this? With this? <clears throat> Honestly, man, um, I dropped some songs. You know, I just got out in like March, bro. Okay. So, I dropped a few songs, but, you know, we started a new label for like, uh, for some talent we found, man. Okay. And, um, and uh, BTG, Stanford Black Taliban Gang. So we really just trying to push the youngest right now. Okay. Even though, you know, I've been getting like a lot of offers by doing a lot of shows and shit, but we're just, we're just turning them down. How long, how long you were down for? for? Like two years. Two years? Yeah. And since then, y'all established a label and now y'all trying to push Yeah, we talked about it. Man, hell, we talked about this shit in jail, bro. Yeah. Man, he was talking about it in jail. We was going to do uh, and build a label around some youngest who had talent. Try okay. to push them because you know I sit on fire, you know with the whole like Young and H on sign and yeah. La Papa and Tokyo and what it is, all man. the late so they kind of like put like like a little a spotlight on Duval right now. Gotcha, gotcha. So so it's that same way like they, like they always talking drill music, drill music, drill music. So so the shit dope though. So we, they, they got they got they're gonna have a good little future. So we so, just gotta try to get them done, keep pushing, pushing them, put some money into them and shit. That what it is, man. So being that you ain't in Duval no more, but you still be. You still be top down on Duval. Yeah, I still fuck with Duval. It's just like, <clears throat> you know, honestly, man, you know, um, sometimes you got to get up out of certain spots yeah. to win. Yeah. You know, Duval is like a trap sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got to get up out of that bitch. We still got eyes on that bitch. We still got kids there and, and shit going on there. Mm -hmm. We just slide in and slide out. We just can't be like stable there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I mean, I travel a lot, I've been all around the country, man, and I feel like sometimes when you're from a place, you got to step out a little bit, you know what I'm right. saying? Because it ain't always easy, it's like a crowd. And the then, like, the trip part about it is, <clears throat> when you step out of a place like that, now they want to look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I threw a party at Orlando. Yeah. We know for throwing parties at Duval, every, every party we be thick. Yeah. We threw a party in Orlando, and Duval bought 14 tables out of 22. Mm. You get what I'm That's saying? That's crazy. So, that I mean, they follow the nigga. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So they fucking with a nigga, so it's like, but they see us doing something in another market. Now they paying attention. Now they paying attention. That's what it is, man. So so your uh, youngest, your artist that you got, what's the name? Like, who, who you? We got uh, Master Jigaboo. Okay. He, like, he remind you like, uh, he like in a Kodak genre, a Glock 9 genre. Okay. Like that. 
uh, got to do with Rich MB. He out of he out of uh, he actually from Orlando, but he out of, he, he based in Gainesville. Gotcha. You know, he like a two way artist, mixed breed. Uh, we got uh, uh, the twins, bass okay. straight drill music, kind of like the Chicago feel. Got it. You know. Uh, uh, I sit right now. Oh yeah, we got just do it, Briss. Okay. You know he probably one of the most talented guys on planet Earth. Like seriously, <laughs> that's what it is, man. Like, forever. That's what it is. So, man. But, uh, but yeah. So you just pushing youngest, man. So yeah. um, what can we expect from them, man? Work, man. Work. I be telling them, man. It's time to like, um, you know, mainly it kind of like waiting on me too. We got like a lot of paperwork to get in order. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make definitely. sure that we cover on the business business side of it. So. Other than that, they've been recording. We just waiting for everything like just to come together so we can start dropping, dropping, dropping. Okay. But once we start dropping, man, it's just gonna take. We got a lot of talent. Okay, and and I think that uh, learning the business is important, bro. Like the, what y'all gonna be doing the business side of things. Definitely. Um, how did y'all go about learning the business just from being out <clears> here, or y'all, you know, got um, Briss again, like he, like his pops, like really kind of like showed us like how to like work the contracts deal and percentage we'll get. Um, of uh, different gears and stuff, different artists, how that work. Um, taught us about um, royalties and stuff like that. So, okay, so y'all got some guidance in that. <laughs> a lot of that. That was uh, man. How, it, how long y'all had to labor? Uh, fresh, from my home. Okay, so this new. This new. So, yeah, so, we, we already had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Game Music Group. That's the one we, we originated from. So what is it now? Uh, it's the same. It's still boss game, but it's just like black Taliban games. Like black Taliban games. It's like for the youngins, for us, for me to build with the youngins. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just so that they shit, that I can just help them push and try to get them what they want to do. So this right here is the beginning, bro. This is just really the beginning of something new. That's for now. Yeah, it is because like and we done been there, so it's yeah. like well, you know been in places you can get there again. You know what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. And they got youth. Like you know, nobody over 21. <laughs> yeah. So they got they got the youth, they got the youth crowds, they got the high school, they got all of it. Right. They got high school. They like 18, 19. Okay, okay, 18, 19. Okay, a little yeah. older. Right. But they still they still got their youth though, definitely. Right. Yeah. That's what it is, man. So um, y'all got any? I mean, y'all got a studio? Y'all got any? Music, yeah, we got KDS. Okay. Well, we KDS. have a part of that. We got a we got a booth. We got a we got a section out there. We got like a little room out there. What 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 can we sell some music, man? Uh, definitely, we'll send you the music, all that shit. Okay. Definitely, we'll send you that. Okay. So y'all already got the music, y'all are working on all of that. Oh, y'all got, y'all got, got visuals and everything already. Definitely, we uh, yeah, we got visuals, we got visuals, yeah. we got a uh, video to work with too. We just gotta, uh, like I said, put it out. We gotta get our distro key, everything together. Mm -hmm. you no know, content for it. We just want to get pushing, the drop shit, drop shit, and oh, we have the content behind it. Gotcha, gotcha. And that, that's so y'all, so so, like, so, so that, so that content important to y'all. Definitely. Yeah. So y'all yeah. just gonna be putting out anything. <laughs> definitely. So being that you that you you did it yourself, like as far as rapping, and you said people started to pay attention. Still, you you still gonna touch the stage or like? I don't want to. You don't want to. You ready to pass the torch? Yeah, cause you yeah, said you know, <laughs> do a coach did and P yeah. did. That what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think like them. Like we do a P did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We can make millions just standing behind them. Yeah, long we ain't gotta, right we way, ain't gotta be in the spotlight. Yeah. We'll be behind them. It ain't always about being in the spotlight, man. Definitely. And then you gotta understand, like right now, it is the market you in too. Like it's a whole nother genre, I mean, yeah. era of music. Yeah. Young niggas is on. Yeah. Unless you've been in the game three, four years ago. Unless you just got a hit that that can take off. Yeah. But the youngest oh, is on. They're the future. Pretty much, I feel it. Right, right, right. So it's like, but don't get it twisted. For that money, I'm, I'm gonna turn up. <laughs> era. But so, I already know, even tonight, man, like, yeah. I already know between Kool Aid and Cap, they're gonna have me touch my night. I already know that. So you'll do a little bit, but you ain't really trying to be the spotlight. Yeah, I don't care, I don't care about you. You're trying to push the label. I wouldn't do that. I don't care about you. And I, <laughs> I, 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 make some, I make some music just because I like to ride to it here. You know what I'm saying? You like hear your own music. Yeah, definitely. Good, man. Definitely. All right, so um, these youngest, man, like, um, like you said, you gotta get all the paperwork, you gotta get everything set up, but it's pretty much it's done. Oh, yeah, everything is done. We just wanna. Just make it make sense. It's like we're gonna have a big signing. But we actually have a signing to them and not no verbal shit. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so they're like my little brothers for real though, but we wanna put it where it be legitimized. It's, it's, That's it's, important, man. They're one point. You know what I'm saying? Not just for me, but for them too. But you know a lot of people now they like a lot of labels and stuff like y'all, they like farming systems. Now they, they build an the artist up and then they they selling them off to the next, you know, right. bigger yeah. situation. Y'all ain't looking to do that. Y'all looking to have y'all own <clears throat> just situation. We want distribution. Yeah. Exactly what P did. That's exactly what we're trying to get to. Like people understand. Like P got P got a regular label. Like we got a regular label. Yeah. 
He just got distribution through uh, Capital Records that's at Motown. So even on Motown page, they post Lil Baby them because that's the that's their artist too. So they just they got the, exactly. So we want that same deal. Yeah. Follow us and get a good thing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all y'all gonna be scouting more talent, y'all just gonna pretty much definitely y'all got. Shit, we ain't we ain't turning down nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just we just want to make sense. Like we want people who gonna fuck with us and love us for us, not just for you know what I'm saying. So if somebody if somebody like out there and they're young or not even young, just some like, talented artist and they want to get in touch with you, how do you want to be like you know? Social media, uh, social media, social media. That's the that's like like the way to anything. Yeah, just hit you up on that on that. You on get a that personal, Instagram because a phone number can change. Yeah, and social media can too, but too many people don't really change their social media. True. You find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, all that Snapchat, all that. So so what's your vision right now, man? What like you know what's your what's your vision right now, man? Like what, what you what you see happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> we want to be rich, well, <laughs> rich, well. Okay, there it is, is, man. So um. Pretty much anything you want to throw out there, man, for the fans who, who know what they expect, know what's coming up, how to get in touch with you, how to get in touch with your people. Man. Yeah, man, follow us on Instagram, man. Boss underscore G, BGMG, or Black Taliban Gang on Instagram. You can follow us on that, though, man. We are, uh, we definitely respond by it. We ain't bougie yet, so <laughs> we ain't about taking our messages and shit. Taking our own shit. Shout out Perk Shotter, man. Boss Game Moon, man. Perk, Perk, Perk! What it is, Perk. I said we hanging out. Yeah, that's what it is. It's finna turn out. birthday, hell yeah. yeah. That's what it is, man. We moving the bit. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? CMB. But shout out Street Fame, man. I appreciate, appreciate the love, though, bro. Yeah, appreciate the love. Fame, man. Yeah. That's what it, man. You know, that's what we do. We be out here, man. We go where we need to go. I be by myself like tonight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I be wherever I gotta be at. Come on, man. Yeah, Come on, you gotta, you gotta drop the <laughs> end of the bit. We gotta get him. Listen, man. We take your real street <laughs> niggas and making them yeah. legitimate business workers, man. Your mm -hmm. business owners and all that. You ain't gotta work hard, you gotta do that. You gotta just work, yeah, that's, that's it. That's working smart, though, man. Yeah, you know, you gotta just take that money, man. Cause them people ain't playing no games down there. Nah, they ain't. And we ain't trying to get locked back up. No, but we're this is another way. We're gonna treat the rock game like the dope game. That's what it is. Make money out of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is, man. We're gonna show love, man. We're gonna, we're gonna make it happen, man. All right, man. So. We gonna be there. We gonna be there with you, man. I be I be following everybody that interview. I stick with them. You feel me? I appreciate it. So we're gonna be right there along the way. Make sure y'all check it out. This gonna be on our Instagram, my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna send him the video as well if y'all want to catch it. You know, so y'all make sure y'all tune in. Street fame. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yep.